Ontario, California is a city of 52 square miles with a population of about 182,000 currently, and it's continuing to grow. With our three freeways, the railways, and the Ontario International Airport, we really pride ourselves as a logistical hub throughout the region and the state. We were really intrigued with how drones could be utilized within the city for various things like inspections, even in law enforcement, but realized that we had to crawl before we could walk. We felt that having our skies mapped for drone delivery would be in our best interest for our future growth. So we had to find the right partners to make our vision come true. A lot of cities that we talk to want a drone program. They just don't know where to start. So at Airspace Link, we offer cities a fly safe program. And what that is, is not just software, it's a success plan. It's doing an assessment of where the city is and where they want to go, and then creating a roadmap that aligns with that. And so we did do an Airspace Link assessment with all of the different departments. And had interviews with different various stakeholders to understand their needs and to match it with the technology. It's really a six-step process. Level one is, how do we just have recreational operators flying safely within our communities? Level two is commercial operations, and then level three and four, where you start putting in shared infrastructure and radar systems for safe operations, where you start to have drones fly beyond visual line of sight, all the way up to level six, which would be air taxis for the ports. So there's a whole path to support the advancements of drones within a community. Without having a full understanding of what's in our sky, we would be putting our community at risk. Having a partner like Airspace Link that knows the landscape and is connected to a lot of the discussions that are happening at the federal level, I think is amazing. Their city is completely covered by Class C airspace, which is tough to fly in. We have a product, AirHub Portal, that has organizational accounts where it can manage the entire city and all the operations that are happening, really making sure that there's a process, using a system that's already been approved by the FAA in some instances, and then being able to make sure they're staying compliant within their workflows. My name is Patrick Woolweaver. I'm a sergeant with the Ontario Police Department, and I currently run our unmanned aerial systems, or UAS team. Now, how are we using drones now? primarily is deployments in the field from patrol cars. Beyond that, we're kind of looking towards the future, wanting to do drone as first responder. What we've done is we launched test flights and responding directly to calls for service, getting eyes on early, letting our officers in the field have access to that information so they can make better decisions when they arrive on scene. Having that tour guide in Airspace Link, building that strategy really helped us get to where we're at. When I met with Ontario in 2020, they had maybe one drone pilot, a couple of drones within their GIS and IT department. Today, they have over 50 drone pilots and over 20 drones running different types of operations from data collection to crime analysis to drones as a first responder. It's amazing what they're doing here.